breaks you've had since uh, being in charge. What have you been working on mainly in the last couple of weeks? It was like a mini pre-season for us in Dubai. Uh, we had time to work in, in a lot of our principles and how we want to set up against different formations, you know, the relevant thing that we need to work on and off the ball. And apart from that, it was great to be a little bit together, spend some time together, get to know each other, and not just with the players, but with the staff and backroom staff as well. So it was a very productive trip. How difficult has it been to maintain the players' morale and motivation lately? Because it's unusual for a lot of these players to be down in 10th place in the Premier League. We're taking it game by day. To be fair, the input, the work ethic and the commitment they've been having through training and games has been really good. Um, they know how crucial it's going to be the next uh, three to four weeks uh, for our aims till the end of the season. So they are very aware of that and they have a really good mindset towards that and I think they are highly motivated. Hi, Miguel. Um, can I just ask about a couple of signings you made uh, towards the back end of, of the window in, in how maybe close they are to being selected and, and, and when you may be able to select them and how you will use them? I'm talking obviously about Pablo Mari maybe first and, yeah. and then Cedric after that. How they? Yeah, Pablo hasn't competed uh, since end of December. I think he had a little issue. He's been training with us the last week or so, in and out a little bit, but uh, he's been looking good. I think this game will come a little bit too early for him, but I expect him to start joining the squad in the next uh, week or so. Uh, and what about Cedric as well? Yeah. I know there's been an update from the club, but in terms of how he's you know, come to the club with the injury, how that's developed him, and maybe when might be he might, when might he be, be available for you? He's very disappointed. Obviously, when you join a new club, you want to make an impression straight away. Um, he had an issue in his knee, you know. He's not completely healed yet. He hasn't been training with us, so I expect him to be back with us in the next coming weeks. But uh, I can give you a, a date. Um, also, just a, a, another one, Kieran Tierney. A lot of, you know, the injury looked bad, but is. Is that maybe looking a bit better in terms of getting him back? He's doing very good progress, but uh, we need to wait for the bone and the attachment with the tendon to heal before he can make any contact. He's been training. His work ethic is incredible. I've been really impressed with him, so hopefully we can get in soon, but we have to be a little bit patient with him as well. Um, a couple of weeks ago, you, you very kindly spoke to us about what your hopes were for the, for the winter break. Mm -hmm. Were you able to get everything that you, you needed done? Because you spoke, you're speaking about rest for the players, give them like two or three days mm -hmm. off, but also having a real chance to, 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 mm -hmm. to get together with, with the, on the training pitch. Can you give us a sense of what work was done out in Dubai and back here as well and mm -hmm. how that may impact now on the second half of the season going forward? Yeah. I wanted to give them a few days rest because they were a lot through a lot of things in the last few months. Um, after that, we reflected what we did together in the last five or six weeks since I joined. The things that um, we improved and they are very positive and we have to maintain and the things that we have to improve and develop. And, um, and it worked really well. We agreed. Um, we set some targets. We start to work on them and, uh, and hopefully we can see the outcome in the next few weeks. In terms of sort of planning for the summer as well already, are those plans underway? Because you know, whether you believe some of these you read, there's that maybe Santa Gazola may have been spoken to at Villarreal about potential targets, but is there work already well underway behind the scenes about summer recruitment? Absolutely, we have to plan, you know, and, and we need to know the direction we want to head, and to do that, we need to bear in mind different scenarios, and uh, with that in mind, I have to tell the club what we need, where we think we can improve, and uh, where we want to aim. And if we all aim the same things, then we put a plan together to try to execute it and make the process as short as possible. Um, just a slightly, I suppose, not left field, but a lot of the sporting world, not just football, but also what's being affected by what's happening in, in China, spreading around with, with yeah. the coronavirus outbreak. Can I just tell me what precautions you and your staff have got mm. to take? Because obviously you play... You play in London, you play in a big stadium with thousands mm. of people. You are going to be travelling abroad rel relatively soon with the Olympic mm. as well. What's the advice that's been given to you and your staff? We have uh, great doctors here and people who are looking after our health. Um, they've been putting a plan together to try to keep everybody in safe hands. Uh, we have some protocols that we have to respect within the training ground. But as far as I know, everything is under control. But we have to be very aware, as you said.
just a, the final question for me, if I'm, I may, just on a, on a couple of your younger players, mm. just the impact they're having and maybe how keen in time you are to tie them mm. down on longer, on, on longer uh, contracts as well. <coughs> you know, Saka yeah. has looked very, very good filling in at left back, but I think he only has, what, 18 months left to go. Mm. Is there any movement on tying him down to a longer contract? I'm really happy how they are developing. Uh, part of that development is uh, to improve the contract and tie them to, to the club. But that has to follow a natural process. Um, we have Edu, we have Raul, Binay, and <clears throat> and uh, Haas, who are in charge of that. And, and I'm sure we will do the right things when players deserve to improve and, and extend their contracts. Nico, you played in the 7-3 against Newcastle a few years back. Yeah. What's more important to you as a coach, scoring goals or keeping goals out? It's winning. <laughs> uh, Obviously, that game for the crowd is great. For managers, it's not that great because that means balance-wise uh, you suffered. Um, but I love scoring goals for sure. I like attacking football. But I like attacking football while you control what the opponent does to you in your own box. Would you say you've sacrificed a bit of attacking flair for more defensive solidity? Tonight? I don't think so. I think uh, we had to generate some defensive stability, but not by defending deep. I don't like that. It's by defending high and threatening the opponent as much as possible. But um, but the process together as many times as possible in the most efficient way has to be done properly from here. If not in two passes when you arrive there, that transition is impossible to control because you are too far from the opponent. So we need to do that first well to after be able to generate and sustain those attacks as many times as possible during games. Mikhail, can I just ask, um, Bruno Amber has been quite vocal recently talking about the squad, you know, questioning players, his attitude. Have, have you noticed that or the players noticed that? And if so, how have they reacted to those comments? Towards our players? Yeah. I haven't read anything about it, no. OK, well, next is the uh, section for 10.30 tonight. Okay. You know, keep, keep hearing players have things better.